Hello everyone, this is RaySpace and welcome back to my new fly career in Microsoft Flight Sim. I now have the DC-6 and this is the PMDG DC-6A, which is the cargo variant and I intend to use it. Unfortunately, I think it's sort of not getting the payload capacity that probably ought to. Uh, we've got a payload capacity of 21,000 pounds. I'm pretty sure DC-6 can do more than that, especially this cargo variant, but well, that's what we have, and I can't take passenger missions, so we're going to go with what we can. And my intention is to eventually fly to DC-6 A or B around the world. So I'm not going to stick to just one on that. I think I'll be satisfied if I fly around the world with some variant of the DC-6 along the way. And so I would like to get a mission going, I think, eastward. Um, yeah, I think I'll go eastward because the wind will be in my favor if I do that. If I go westward, it's going to be against the wind, and that's not great. So, we might as well take advantage of that. Uh, it seems like the required weight here is not... I mean, uh, this one has the biggest reward, but it's going straight north. That's not too bad, uh, but this one's going south. Well, uh, let me see how it does with close to the max weight here, which this one will do. Not a whole lot seems to be in that direction. So, okay, well, I might as well take the best paying one then. Uh, it's just a matter of flight time here. And that's a fair distance, 500 nautical miles. So to Veco. Well, I'm also going to try out Beyond ATC with this. So let me pick this one up. But to use Beyond ATC, I do need to do a SimBrief thing. So I only have the free version of SimBrief and I'm gonna go new flight and see if I can do this properly because I hardly ever use it. I've got the uh, DC-6 here and it's DC-6A. Hopefully I've got stuff here. And so departing VOBZ, arriving uh, Veco. Fine, I'll go with that. I hope I can get more than 12,000 feet. Um, let me see if I can... Let me say 20,000 feet. No passengers payload. Um, well, full is pretty close to what we've got. I guess it is limited to about 20,000 pounds. In the sim, I'll start at a parking spot so that we can uh, do the whole startup procedure since this is the first time I'm flying the DC-6A in this series. Okay, well, it says block fuel 9,355, so I'll load a little bit more than that, though technically I probably don't need that. Got a lot of little apps now. Well, Neofly has me with about this much fuel, so uh, the 50% load already. So I'll just carry that for now. See, I mean, the payload, I can certainly load it with more than 21,000. Here it says 38,000, but it's only gonna let me get 21,000 or so. Well, I don't have the American Airlines livery installed right now. So I'm just going to go for the United Airlines cargo liner and in Neofly I'm got to pay for the paint job which is 10,000. Okay pilot, the mail packs are good to go. By my calculations you should just make it on time. Okay, so this is my first time starting this up in a while. Let me see checklists. Do we have checklists? Oh, I don't think this one did this one have checklists at all. Um, or I don't know how to access them if they are checklist. Yeah, not in here. Okay, I need to go to the manual and I'll look at that for the checklists. Okay, so up here we have the battery and ground power on battery, but I'll select ground power. Okay, and get the amber light. All the circuit breakers should be fine. I don't need any particular lights, but I guess I'll get 
some of the white lights on for a lot of floodlight just in case because it's a little bit cloudy outside all right and then uh, no smoking seatbelt sign um, entrance lights I guess okay water injection pump switches on that's up here Okay, propeller emergency de-icing controls off. Pretty sure they're already there, but uh, where were those? Prop the icers there. I hope that that's what that is. Cow flap selector switches uh, all all the way open for startup. Fuel booster pump circuit breakers set and fuel booster pump switches off. Currently, they are off. It's those. And cooling turbine switch as desired. Well, I desire it where it is. And inverter switches all three on. So there's the inverter. Not standby. On. On. And where's the third one? Uh, okay. I guess this engine inverter. Okay. So inverters on auxiliary blower. See without the thing, without the checklist in here, it doesn't highlight stuff. But okay, aux blower, uh, voltage regulator, overheat warning light. I mean the key is most of the stuff is right here. Warning light off. Well, voltage regulator, overheat warning light is off. Uh, emergency instrument switch if installed off. I'm gonna pretend it's not installed. Um, generators on. Okay, so these are the generators. All ignition switches off, yes. Heater fuel switch normal. Oh, well this heater fuel and ignition selector. Well, it says normal is down. So those are all down. So that's fine. Yep. Cabin heater master switch on up. Cabin heater master on. Airfoil de-icer heater master switch off. Well, that's where it is. And the prop de-icer. Well, that's not the earlier one then. Carburetor de-icer switches off. Yep. Anti-icing fluid quantity check. Well, it looks like our anti-icing fluid, which is right in the center of the screen there, is full. Hydraulic fluid quantity check, those are all full. WA quantity, I don't know which one that is. Water, does it mean water? Water is full. Fuel quantity check, well, seems like I have some. <laughs> I've got the main tanks seem okay. All right, that's the good stuff. Oil quantity check, oil's full. Landing light switches, retract or off. Uh, off, um, off, yeah. Okay. Engine and supercharger switches low, yes. Cabin pressure regulator, start marker, and flight hand set. Do I have to move that marker for cabin? Hopefully that's okay, or should I just set it to zero. I don't know. I forget how that's supposed to go. So, prop master RPM. Make sure that's okay. Yeah. Full forward takeoff position. And we are ready, I think, to start. Oh, wait. Yeah, throttle is fine. Mixtures are idle cut off, yeah. Landing gear down, trim tabs set. Carburetor stuff is all down, wing flap control lever up. And then it's just a radio check and then starting the engines. Okay, so starting the engines. Beacon on. Okay, start the engines in the order three, four, two, one. So, engine selector to three. 
then the safety switch on and then the start switch is on and then wait till the count goes to 11 to 14 and the ignition switch is on now in my experience I can just set this to both what we really need to do is um, go down and start the fuel and it didn't tell me to do the fuel booster pumps but I'm gonna set the fuel booster pumps to low okay probably don't need that but just in case so I'm gonna do it like this Three. just gotta click all Six. those And then Gaga or Alulin. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting. Okay, no, obviously that won't work. The checklist forgot to tell me to turn on the fuel. Here, fuel tank selectors. I did not. I maybe I just missed it, but I don't think it told me to set the fuel tank selectors. That's what's going on. Okay, let's try it again. That stuff, let me just click all those. Three. I'm leaving that magneto on. Six. Nine. Twelve. Nope, now it should work. There we go. And everything's shaking. Well, that's engine three. Now engine four. Wait, after those, click back. I'm just got to start the magneto and click, click, click. I haven't noticed it makes any difference as far as those, but anyway. Okay. Okay. That's two of them. And then two and one. I swear, it, it was more picky on the initial release of this plane than it is now. I think they made it less picky. Okay, start. Okay. Contact the tower for clearance. We've started all the engines. And the selector switch can be set to off. Few booster pump switches off. And we can set the battery. We can turn off ground power, set it back to battery. And remove the gust lock. All right, I think we should be okay. Let's just pull out the pad and see what's we've what we've got here. Ground power unit we don't need. We have realistic engine damage, realistic start, the whole business says so. Right now the oil temperature and pressure on engine one is just getting started. It's probably just getting warmed up. I'm not going to use the AFE, the Artificial Flight Engineer, I'll just deal with things. I'll just keep it to this, but tuck it away. Alright, let me see if Beyond ATC is okay. I had used it before, but only on a brief flight with the AN-225. Let me try and restart it and see if that works. Well, there's our sp spiffy DC-6A. Payload required... It, it seems to think that I don't have the payload, so let me fix that. 
I definitely put it in before, but maybe the PMDG stuff overwrote that. Now, will Beyond ATC connect properly? Okay, it seems to understand what's going on. I haven't gotten used to talking to Beyond ATC, so uh, let me just request IFR clearance. It's going to generate Romeo that. Alpha 412, IF Articajarajo Airport. Romeo Alpha 412, Vijayawada, expect runway 08. Climb flight level 060 on runway center line, then expect radar vectors on bars. Squawk to 360. Let me see if it'll recognize me. Romeo Alpha 412 requesting pushback. Romeo Alpha 412 requesting pushback. Romeo Alpha 412, Vijayawada Tower, pushback approved. Face Northwest. Romeo Alpha 412, facing Northwest, I guess. That's best I've got. Alright, well actually I, I don't think I need to push back. Um, pushing back would sort of be redundant. Now, facing northwest, is that's not how we're facing right now. So, but facing northwest would also not give us, get us anywhere. So, I'm just gonna say, Romeo Alpha 412 requesting taxi to runway. Romeo Alpha 412, runway 08, taxi at pilot's discretion. Yeah, there's no other taxiway. I'll have to go to the other end of the runway and loop back. I'm trying not to go on the grass. Come on, plane. You can do it. Well, I think I can keep my wheels on the paved surface. Very good. Yes. Let me just hold short here. Romeo Alpha 412 requesting departure. Romeo Alpha 412, backtrack runway 08. Call when ready for departure. I'm ready for departure right now. Backtracking runway 8, Romeo Alpha 412. What do we mean backtrack? I don't remember. I don't know. What do we mean by that? Romeo Alpha 412, okay, I guess it just need me over tower, here. Wind 030 at 5, fly heading 320, runway 08, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 8, Romeo Alpha 412. Fly heading 320, huh? Okay. Here we go. I'm not taxiing anymore, Skyforce Sim or Neofly. Okay, up we go. We are airborne. Oh, landing lights, shoot. Transporter. Good flight. I wasn't in the checklist. Well, uh, probably in the later parts of the checklist. Romeo well. Alpha 412. Contact Vijavada departure 118.55. 118.55, one five five, Romeo Alpha 412. Okay, well, we've got some things to take care of as far as the engine stress. Okay, carburetor temp, oil pressure. Let me try and. mitigate things a bit but can we get the carburetor temp nicer by pumping up the air here oh and we should probably close the cow flaps a bit now for climb there's a big management thing this plane that's why they add the flight engineer option well, the cylinder head temp. Oh, uh, carburetor temp's a little bit high on the first engine. Let me pump that down. 
So let's get it to 50-ish something. Okay. Now oh, they're all high. Okay, a little bit lower. Seems like we need it lower. Okay, now they're happy. Oil pressure is a thing though. Uh, take it to lower RPM. That's happy now. Okay. Such a nice plane. I'd still sort of like the Lockheed Constellation. As long as it was at this level. But since I don't think the Lockheed Constellation that's available is quite this good. I'll stick to this. Sometimes what I've done is I've accidentally hit the extinguishers when clicking out of the sim since I have so many other programs like the NeoFly and the Beyond ATC active that I so I click on the second screen. Uh, that may or may not happen during my flights with this again. All aircraft be advised information Oscar now current QNH1008. Now I'm still obviously sort of a novice at actually responding to ATC. Uh, Romeo Alpha oh, 412 contact Hyderabad control 118 decimal 3 bye bye. But to say 118 decimal 3 Romeo Alpha 412. Hyderabad Control is Romeo Alpha 412 climbing to flight level 100. Uh, I don't know how to specify my location with Oscar. Romeo Alpha 412, Hyderabad Control, radar contact, climb to flight level 200. Climbing to flight level 200, Romeo Alpha 412. Well, engine's sitting pretty right now. That's the view outside the window. Once we get to a certain level, we will have to turn on the superchargers. And that's basically when I max out my throttle and the manifold pressure starts dropping. Uh, so for now, I'm managing the propeller pitch in the throttle so that the BMEP is basically between 150 and 170. Really I'm not doing much with the propeller pitch. It's That's just set at the RPM. I'm content with 2500 RPM. I'm just doing the throttle mainly. It's interesting my mixture works but technically I just have it on auto rich so I don't know why exactly my mixture works since it's not moving these things. But it is definitely doing something. I know Beyond ATC doesn't beg you to expedite ascent or descent quite as much as the stock ATC does. But I do have to worry because the running costs on this are pretty high. And if I make this flight more than two hours long it's gonna cut significantly into the profits on this flight yeah I definitely didn't climb optimally what I need to do is accelerate more and just climb too slow Get the, I should just fly at lower altitudes probably would be better so I don't have to climb so much it'll be more scenic anyway Nice to be above the clouds though. How about your temperature too cold? Fine. We are finally past 19,000 feet. Getting ready to level off at 20,000. Okay, okay, okay. That's flight level 200. And 
mechanical disconnect and gyro pilot oh i have to do that after the gyro gyro pilot at altitude oh gyro pilot the disconnect altitude control i think that's how it is maybe i should close the cow flaps more romeo alpha 412 oh. contact mumbai control 132 decimal 7 132 decimal 7 Romeo Alpha 412 Romeo Alpha 412 direct Sudom turn left heading 305 descend to flight level 200 on my control Romeo Alpha 412 ready for descent Romeo Alpha 412 turn left heading 340 Descent to flight level 140, Khajuraho landing runway 01. Turn left heading 340, descend to flight level 140, uh, Khajuraho landing runway 01, Romeo Alpha 412. Turn left, heading 340, Romeo Alpha 412. Romeo Alpha 412, turn right, heading 005, descend to 5000 feet, QNH1008. Expect further clearance in about 3-4 miles. Turn right 005, descend to 5000, QNH1008, Romeo Alpha 412. I'll definitely be refining how I fly this thing. Well, here we are. Should be on time. Romeo Alpha 412, 13 one miles from Go 502, fly present heading. Maintain 3,200 feet until established on the final approach course. Clear Arnav Yankee Runway 01. Maintain 3,200, cleared approach, R Navi 01, Romeo Alpha 412. Kajirao Tower, this is Romeo Alpha 412 at 3,200 feet on approach to land. Romeo Alpha 412, Kajirao Tower, wind 070 at 5, runway 01 cleared to land. Clear to land, runway 01, Romeo Alpha 412. There's the runway. We're definitely not lined up yet. It's all very premature. Not the best guidance from ATC. Everything's sort of shuddering a lot. Okay, first landing with this in this series. Oh, landing lights. Shoot. That wasn't the softest it wasn't? Seen. Gosh, it's tough to judge the landing speed in this. Taxi to parking and shut down your engine. Romeo Alpha 412, exit left next available taxiway. Exiting next available taxiway, Romeo Alpha 412. Imagine a harder landing with this than a tail dragger. I'm usually worse with the tail draggers. Well, more practice is necessary. Well, there's not much here, is there? Okay, that's probably good enough. Alright, if I was doing the proper shutdown, how would this go? Cow flaps open. 
They probably should have done that for landing. Wing flaps are up. I'm going to double check. Yep. Um, take off RPM. Cabin depressurized. I really didn't check that at all. Um, propeller de-icer switch. Well, I never turned that on. Um, auto fettering off. Transponder off. Probably cabin heater can be goff. Okay. So, um, make sure controls. Getting them to... nope. Idle cutout. Transporter. Cargo unloading in progress. A lot longer than Stand I expected by, it to be. Okay, fuel tank selector controls. Back down. Ignition switches. Off. Not that one. Transporter. Another cargo mission completed. Thanks, and see you soon. Generator is off. You can start your engine now. Gust lock engaged. Okay, and then probably just for formality's sake, we'll turn off the power. So two hours and seven minutes according to Flight Sim itself. But they said like two hours and 21 minutes. Well, I got a net profit. But it was expensive running this. The rented aircraft running cost 149000 Payment was 372620 So the running costs was, were nearly half of the payment. But anyway, made some. And hopefully we'll get other good missions. But for now, because I did the startup procedure and everything and also tried out Beyond ATC for the first time, this is probably a longer video than usual, even though I only did one flight instead of two. So, as we take a look at the DC-6A uh, here, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.